well. So today I'd like to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while, but I have kind of been waiting for the right moment to share about these things. And I have been receiving a lot of confirmation, so I think I should talk about it. So uh, this will be specifically to my beautiful sisters out there. It's a word of encouragement to you, my beautiful sisters. So I'd like to start to unpack this um, beginning from the vision of the tsunami. I keep getting back to the vision of the tsunami, but a picture can speak a thousand words. And God keep, you know, He keeps talking about it and pointing out things and, and speaking through this vision. So in the beginning of the year, I had a vision of a tsunami coming towards the land. The tsunami was going to, yes, destroy things and stuff, but the purpose of this was so that God was going to change things. Things were going to look different. And what he has been recently pointing out to me, it's about the tsunami, the waters of the sea. So when I experienced this, I was, it was as if I was in front of a beach and I could see a huge, huge wave, a huge tsunami coming towards the land. So what I got from the Lord is that Things were going to change. The main purpose was going to bring change. But he has been pointing out something else about this. Uh, because of the waters of the sea are coming to the land and the things that were in the bottom of the sea are being exposed. God is doing this. So he has been bringing to my mind about the bottom of the sea and reminding me about what's in the bottom of the sea. I have talked about this before, the dragon, the dragon that is in the sea from um, Job chapter 41. It's mentioned in Job chapter 41, but in other scriptures as well, Leviathan. So the Most High is right now dealing with the spirit of Leviathan and in order for him to start this, in order for him to drag him out of there, bring him to exposure and deal with him and finish with him, the first stage is going to be the, the exposure, the exposure of the spirit of Leviathan. And this is something that is not only, it's not all, I, you know, I, I have the sense, sometimes I pray and I, I have been going through warfare as well. And I have the sense there are so many other people going through this, but it's not only I'm having a sense. If you look at the news, you know that you can see that there are reports about uh, something that's happening ac across different countries, you know, the number of domestic violence, all sorts of abuse, uh, physical abuse, verbal abuse, all sorts of horrific types of abuse going on in many families because people are not able to go out. People are not able to get out of their houses. And so, but what the Lord has been speaking to me is specifically for women and children. Uh, there is a fierce battle going on in the lives of many, many women. And the Lord wants you to know that he is bringing Leviathan to exposure. He is going to deal with it. And all of this that's happening, everything that he's doing right now, the beginning of this new season, whatever, is that God had enough and that this word that comes back to my heart so many times in my mind is a desire, is a word, but it's more than just a word, is a cry out of the heart of God. Because the heart of God is crying out the same thing that many women out there are crying out. Justice. Justice. And this is not very well received 
because of the last season, the past season was so emphasized on grace. But as this season um, develops and as God unfolds his light, we're going to start to see what was behind this hyper grace message. The Lord wants you to know, sister, that the cry of your heart is the same cry of his heart. He will deal with Leviathan. Who is Leviathan? The spirit of Leviathan is the dragon, the dragon that is in the sea. Is a spirit with that may operate through people with total lack of empathy, with an um, incredible amount of cruelty, but very deceptive. Because uh, one of the titles for Leviathan, it is the Twisting Serpent. So it could be that no one knows what you're going through, or it could be that no one believes you when you say what you're going through. But I am here to encourage you this whole situation of change is because God is going to deal with Leviathan. And the cry of your heart is the cry of his heart as well. Lord, bring justice. Look at this situation. And if you have been through a warfare or battle with the spirit of Leviathan, it's interesting how... Uh, it's so common, it does happen that uh, people go through a situation and others may not believe what you have to say. You feel like you're surrounded maybe by other people and people don't believe what you say because of the work of this um, spiritual force. It is the twisted serpent and um, it, could, it, could, it could bring a lot of you know, sense of hopelessness, maybe even a sense of despair. But God wants you to keep going. And he wants you to know that the cry of his heart is also justice. He is going to bring justice. And there are some of you out there that even you were judged even by church people. Maybe the people that you go to church, maybe your leaders, maybe people that they said they were your friends and you feel like uh, totally alone. I'm here to tell you that you're not alone, that God sees all things. You are not going to lose your sanity. He is with you and he's going to bring justice. What? actually made me talk about things was a vision that I had last night. I had a vision last night of a person drowning. So powerful waters. It was like um, really, really powerful waters. And this person was doing everything to try to try to not drown. And this person was drowning. And it was a woman and she had her hand, one hand, like stretching out, trying to stretch out above the waters. And I did, I only saw that, but the sense that I got, it was that there were, there was, uh, there was other people around her and no one extended their hands to help her. So I got the sense that the warfare is, is really tough at the moment. And I immediately started to pray about this and about the situation. And, and God brought a, picture, a scripture to my mind, a uh, book of Amos. Um, Amos chapter 5, just verse 24. This is for you, sister. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an overflowing stream. 
these waters that you feel like they are coming against you and they're going to drown you. This is because God is dealing with Leviathan and he's bringing things to exposure. This is because he started to move. But the scenario will change. And the waters there are coming now that it feels like you're going to drown. No one cares. You're stretching out your hand. No one is holding your hand. It is the most high God that is going to fight for you. Because these waters, they're going to turn like, the, they will be the justice. Because God is going to let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Do not doubt that God is on your side. He is a just God. He is bringing justice. And another scripture that he just brought to my mind right now. We are coming, we are getting to the moment that he's going to, to deal with the wicked. He's going to deal with the wicked. And he just brought to my mind Obadiah. We are getting closer to the day of the Lord. And to some people, the day of the Lord, I don't know, Jesus comes to rapture people. But if you read the scripture, it's not that simple. It is not that straightforward. And I do believe that the coming of the day of the Lord is this. Obadiah verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return to your own head. Don't you doubt. The one who sits on the throne is just. And this season, everything that is happening, what we're going through is because we're getting closer and closer to the day of the Lord. He's going to fight your battles. And the waters that right now, they seem like they're surrounding you and that you're going to drown. No, you're not going to drown. These are the waters of justice. Because that's the desire of his heart right now. I am going to roll down justice like many waters, like an overflowing stream. And I'm going to fight for you I am going to rescue you and I'm going to restore your life. Amen.